all right welcome back guys so this is a, a brand new video i want to give you guys and i want you guys to make sure you follow this strategy i want to give you guys and for those of you that is going through your prof firm evaluation account this strategy without any doubts this strategy is going to help you to pass your evaluation phases smoothly and very 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 reliable and looking at my screen you see that we have different uh diagram here that representing other block because we've been doing an other block today and this is not uh, the regular way of using other block because this is a secret strategy i want to give you guys all right so definitely you guys must must have have learned about other block in the past you know that we have single uh this is a single bullish other block this is a single bearish other block this is a double candle bearish other block so all these are the other block representation but now this is not what i'm focusing on because i want to focus on how to use this thing as your confirmation pattern but i def definitely uh, uh you guys know that to reference other block you just to draw out the the open of the other block the mean threshold or the whole body of the other block you understand all right so for this to be a bullish other block we know that other block is the last down candle before the up move for a bullish other block then a bearish other block the last down up candle before the down move all right so definitely you agree with me that there was a, a bearish movement to the downside before this other block was formed and then price start pushing to the upside so what we uh, uh every typical trader what we'll be expecting is immediately price come back to this level all right we'll be referencing this as what our entry okay as our support level and, and again the same thing goes for this double candle order block this double candle order block can either reference this first candle or the mean threshold or this one to reference it the, the the in a nutshell what i'm just trying to establish here is that whenever you cite any of this other block you just draw it to the right hand side draw it to the right hand side and then i want to show you guys how to engage this other block when price come back to this support level right so so whatever price come back to a support level be it uh this may also apply to favor lookup on your reference favor lookup right so whatever price come back to support level let's assume this is a typical market structure of movement to the upside bullish market structure okay so whenever price come back to this support level before this turning point you guys see that there's a bearish movement to the downside before this turning point you understand you agree with me that there's a last down candle pushing to the downside here there was there must be a last down candle that is that is the other block right the same thing for before this turning point this bullish turning point there must be a last bullish down up candle before this turning point okay so before this turning point two there was see a bullish up candle before this bearish turning point two there must also be what a last up candle here that established the bearish other block and then before this uh bullish move to the upside before this bullish move to the upside they will certainly be what last down candle. because i'm trying to name the foundation of this strategy i'm going to give you guys right so there must also be what a bullish there must be a very short candle here that form what the bullish other block right so now looking at this very well you agree with me that in every turning point in the market be it bullish bullish uh be it bullish turning point or bearish turning point there must always be an other block all right so that other block is what we want to capitalize in this in this video all right so we are going to use that as a confirmation pattern what, what i'm trying to uh, establish here is that so whenever i have a support level let's assume uh let's let's make use of this bearish momentum now so when, let's assume okay hold on let me draw let me make let me establish a new connection all right so let's assume this is a typical bullish move all right this is a typical bullish move and then a retracement back into the range okay let me make this in white so let's assume this is a typical bullish move a, let's assume this is a bullish move to the upside bullish environment and the retracement back into the range then price is coming back to test any of the pdrs okay it, you don't necessarily have to know the pdr price is going to use on this impulse swing it could be bullish it could be bullish shutter block could be favor lookup could be a breakup block so the, the only thing I'm trying to establish is that regardless of what PDR is price going to use here, we're going to use this as our confirmation pattern. So what I'm trying to say is that made as price is coming down to the downside, to the downside, to the downside, we are waiting for an other block to form, okay? A bullish other block to form. So once a bullish other block form, now listen, this is different from Lute and Gothic candlestick pattern because I'm going to show you guys the reason why most of those Lute and Gothic candlestick pattern fail them. All right, because most of these uh, retail patterns definitely they fail in the market. So I'm going to establish. So just bear with, just follow me as I'm working through the process. So don't look at this as uh, this is the same as a golfing candlestick pattern. So candles this thing close to get into it. No, a lot of people have used that pattern in the past and uh, end up failing them. So just exercise patient and work and let's go to the process, right? 
So let's let's walk through the process. Let me show you guys why ICT method is different from retail. Okay, so like as I was saying, I said once this uh, candlestick uh, bullish order block is formed, now it, it's usually formed fresh. We we'll call it fresh order block. Now this this other block is different from everything like this here. Okay, because definitely there must be an origin from this point. Price must push to the upside, so it must start with one with an with one candle, all right? That one candle is what is forming the other block, all right? So that other block, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you guys. This is like, I, I'm trying to, let me, let's, let's look at example on this on the chart, okay? This is a, a, a SPS 500, although the chart is very rough. Um, I, I will see show you guys other examples on, on, on currency pairs, okay? So if you look at this, you see that there was a turning point here, a last bullish candle, and then, so what I'm trying to say, in every turning point, there must be an other block, all right? There must be an other block in every turning point. So price turn at this point, there was a bearish other block. Price turn at this point, there was a bullish other block. You don't mind what we are seeing here. I'm going to give you guys clean examples on the chart, all right? I'm going to give you guys clean example. Um, I'm just using this uh, place to record this video, all right? So in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is that there must be what's the ir regardless of what price is going to do, there must be what a turning point. Okay, so let's go back to the explanation I was. Oh, uh, now let's go back to this uh, to the uh, details of the explanation I was giving. So uh, I told you guys to focus, forget about retail graphic candlestick pattern. All right, so imagine this other block is formed. This is what I do as a as a smart money trader. Okay, I know that this this has now this thing is going to help you regardless of the style of trader you are. This is going to help you. And if you focus on only on this tra trading strategy, it's going to help you to pass your profit account. It's going to help you to get funded. It's going to help you. This is, I use it. It's not that I'm trying to uh, come up with a strategy and dump on this channel for you guys to watch. I use this thing daily, guys. So I use it for my confirmation pattern, most especially on higher time frame. So, and and also on lower time frame. Too. And I don't just use them on higher time frame. I also use them on lower time frame. Especially if I want to engage London session, New York session. When I, once I see this bullish other block form, on London key zone or New York key zone. This is a great indication for me to engage the market, right? So what I'm trying to say is that this thing is going to help you regardless of what style of trader you are, okay? So let's continue. So maybe this candle close, right? Before this candle close, there was a down candle. Let's draw that down candle. That down candle is coming from this bearish momentum, okay? So let's, let me change the color here to red. So immediately this candle close, Okay, this is what you need to do now. Uh, because this strategy is you are you, because you are learning this strategy newly, you are going to wait for price to retest this other block. Okay, you are going to wait for price to retest this other block. But uh, like if once you are, once you start getting advanced with the process, you are not going to wait again for price to retest it. Like me, I'm letting this candle close. At the close of this candle, I'm taking the trade at this level. So I'm taking the trade at what this level at the close of this candle. But for you guys, uh, learning this new need, making this candle close, you wait for the next candle. Before this next candle begin to push to the upside, uh, there must go to be a retest. All right? So before this candle start pushing to the upside, so before this candle start pushing to the upside, there will, there will be a retest to the downside. So they will retest this other block, okay? So uh, uh, as an advanced trader, what I usually do is I'm making this candle close, all right? Like as I told you guys, making this candle close, I'm engaging on the on the move, okay? Now, the reason why I do that is that most times price does not necessarily have to come back to retest this other block, okay? That's why they, they, they do create favor lookup around here, all right? So you see uh, something like this, price start pushing to the upside, and then there's a favor lookup here. So that's why, uh, that is what most uh, guys call other block plus favor lookup. Now, this is how they, they didn't start orig uh, originally, okay? Now, this, this is the establishment, how, the, the foundation of how you, uh, all those favor look up or other block come about, okay? So price come back, open at this place, start pushing to the upside without the testing the other block. So there's another block here, and then there's also a favor look up here. So in the, in the next future, when price will come back to, the, to come back to the test this other block, this level, this is going to be a high probability PDRA because there's a favor look up here, there's another block. But some in some cases, price will, will still come back to rebalance this other block, you know? What I'm trying to say is that there's going to be the week of the candle testing this other block, okay? So there's going to be a week of the candle testing this other block. Then, if sorry, let me make this not put this not the middle. <laughs> okay, so, uh, sorry, my drawing is kind of weird. All right. So price coming back to the test this other block. Now, uh, as as a beginner with, with this strategy, now you go and back test this. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to 
take this into the next level, guys, by because uh, most time I don't wait for price for this candle to close because it's going to take a lot, a lot of time for, for this candle to close. And not just that, the, my risk to reward is going to be a little, a little bit awkward. I'm, I'm not going to get enough reward because by the time I measure this place to this place, my risk to the world will be minimal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this process with lower time frame. I will show you guys how I, I frame this setup on lower time frame instead of waiting for this other block to form. Because definitely, you guys got to agree with me, before this other block form, before this turning point, okay, because price came back from bearish side to bullish side. Now, before this turning point occur in the market, everything had started unfolding on lower time frame. Let's assume this is daily time frame. This movement here started from one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, one hour, four hour before coming, before eventually coming back to close up the daily candle. All right, so before the daily candle closed, there are, there are 24 hours, one hour candle. Sorry, there are 24 one hour candle in daily candle, uh, in one daily candle. And then there are, uh, I think, 48, uh, 30 minutes uh, candle in daily candle. So all those structures will build up around this level of uh, support, this is your demand zone or whatever zone you want to call it, but this is not what I'm trying to re uh, reference here. I'm, I'm focusing on this place, not this left-hand side. So all this level will go to build up at this point. So what I'm trying to say is that instead of me to wait for this other block to form on daily or four hour, sorry, instead of me to wait for all this other block to form on daily time frame, what I will do is that I'm going to mark this level out, okay? I'm going to mark, this is my support level. This could be my PD, this PDA could be favor look up, could be other block. You guys know uh, how we do it here. So at this point, we have price come back to this zone. I'll go back to one hour time frame, 30 minutes time frame, or 15 minutes time frame. And then once I see this same thing I'm giving you guys here, once I see this same thing I'm giving you guys, so I'm going to have a very, very minimal risk, uh, very, 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 very minimal risk and high reward. But there is still, that kind of approach is a little bit risky. I'm still going to show you guys how to uh, avoid your risk, right? But for now, first focus on this the one particular time frame, for example, daily or four hour, or one hour, just focus on that time frame for now. So price come to this time frame, rebalanced at this level, and then you engage on this second candle, okay? So immediately you engage on this second candle, you hold the trade, you keep holding the trade. Now, what you need to do, I'm going to give you guys bonus as, 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 I'm going to give you guys bonus for watching this video, okay? So what you're going to do is, you don't close when price take out this liquidity. Most people, this is where they end their trade, all right? You are going to see watch price keep pushing to the upside, keep pushing to the upside. All right, so how, where should you close? Of course, I told you guys, every turning point starts with a signal. What is that signal? This. So there was going to be a signal that, okay, 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 something's about to happen. Then once you know that something's about to happen, then you can, okay, close out your trade. Let's assume you just have, uh, we call this a repasser pattern, okay? I'm going to do a special video on repasser pattern in the future. So you can see the person that closed around here and the person that closed around here, they are very, very much different, okay? If you can even close at this point. Now, before this thing occurs, this other block occurs here, there's going to be a higher time frame PTRA here, somewhere around here. Okay, so you see, I told you guys that um, I can go back from this daily time frame now, okay? I can go back to low one hour time frame, four hour time frame to frame, frame this setup, okay? And then the same thing to frame this setup. And you know, I'm referencing what higher time frame that is on daily time frame. This is daily time frame uh, PDRA. I'm referencing this level, but um, I, I but I have to go as I'm referencing this level on daily, I have to go back to time frame lower, which is four hour or one hour to frame it. I don't know if you guys are trying to understand what I'm trying to establish here. But now, in order for me to work with this PDRA here, this is gonna be a weekly PDRA or monthly PDRA. Okay. I'm 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 it's like I'm seeing a lot of uh all right, all right, enough of, enough of the theory, guys. Let's go into the chat and let me show you guys an example and practical how to use it on daily basis. I will still show you guys how to use it on end, for entry for key zone, like uh, London key zone, New York key zone, very, very reliable. And make sure you don't click out. And for those of you that are new, you have to make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification button. So let's go back and let me show you guys an example how to use it, all right? All right, yeah, on Euro USD. Uh, for the example, I really don't know where to start from. Uh, uh, if I have to start from lower time frame or higher time frame, but I think since I'm already on one hour time frame, let's just start with the current production, um, lower time frame, all right? So the thing is very easy. For lower time frame, I told you guys we use it for entry, right? So what the easiest path to follow is just 
make sure you identify your key zone in the market because that is the area we trade, the London and New York session, all right? So all these shaded areas are my London session and New York session, all right? So what I just do basically is in the morning, I just come and make sure I wait for the first order block to form on London key zone or New York key zone. So look at this first one now, this day, look at this day on that block, just form, okay? But then I just say this bearish. If you want, there must be a PDRA price reference from this other block, like reference from this uh, other block here, okay? And see this reference point. So this place, this other block is for this other uh, greenish other block. So that is the support level. But basically, I don't check whether they support or no support level. I just have to wait for my first other block to form another session. And then, as I told you guys, you can you can engage immediately the candle close, right? Immediately this candle that formed the other block close, you can engage and then start trading to the downside. Or you can wait for a test. That's why I told you guys that sometimes you don't need to wait for a test because sometimes they don't retest the other block, all right? So you see, price just starts expand to the downside. Uh, you don't trade non session keys on the right. Uh, yesterday, the same thing occurred, but just that the other block is too big after the close of the candle. So you gotta wait for your retest. And price expanded to uh, almost retest the other block, but you know what? They just make it on this breakout block here, and then price started to down the New York session. The next day, this other block, I see this other block, there's another block, and then price retest the other block. Now, if you I zoom in, you will see that price detests the other block and then decide to the downside. Look, it's, it's like everyday template, guys. It's like everyday template, right? So you just have to wait for the other block. Like to this day, that there is no other block formed yet on the key zone. So unless you're making use of this one that is former side key zone, but I will not do that. So what I will do basically, I went to trade the New York session. So maybe I saw this first other block pre, pre New York key zone. And I engage on this one or oh, I'll wait for this one, okay? Maybe the close of the candle. I just engage and the market start dropping to the downside. It's just, it's just as easy, very easy, guys, very easy. But if no one should, you will have no say. You can see this one again, this immediate other block. And I use this one to engage, or I wait for this one to form, all right? This candle to close to form the other block, or I wait for New York other block. Engage, you know? So instead of you to be doing that old pattern of, you know, uh, you wait for price to come to other block before you take your entry, you know, you, what people uh, do most times is that once they see other block like this, they reference it, so they wait for it. And you just, as the other block is formed, you are engaging immediately. Look at this, London, London other block and engage buying immediately. I'm taking the trade immediately. There's no time to wait. And you guys know, you can see trade it, uh, trade it, uh, retracement, all right? For example, this retracement that started with another block, I told you every turning point must start with another block. You can see there's another block. So price started retracing, retracing. Other block, you can just be playing around with, with the market. Other block, other block, other block to other block. Then there was a saying, Oh, we are growing and learning this stuff. You know, uh, we just we just uh, start, we just sing other block, like we just sing it like music, you know, other block to other block, other block to other block. Sometimes we can say favor look up to favor look up, but the basic thing is that we just streaming around other block, you know. So other block, I'm in, other block, I'm in, other block, I'm in, other block, I am in, other block. So other blocks doesn't necessarily mean you just have to be drawing, you know. You can see this sweet move now. Other block, I am in. No other block, no entry. No other block, no entry. Other block, I am in. Other block. <laughs> Are you just seeing this, guys? Other block. I can even show you the two I took here. Uh, that was um, on on Tuesday last week. Or also, on Tuesday, or Tuesday last week, prior to CPI. So I caught this move. I caught this move too. With just other block, other block. You can see if you want to trade retracement, I told you you can do that. But basically, uh, my personality, I don't like trading retracement. You can scalp this retracement, all right? You can trade it to the downside and then continue. So if you watch now, this other block format, what PDA? Let me ask, let me check if you are, if you're, if you are really following what I'll be showing you. This format is favorite look at PDA. Just easy light, easy light. Other block, I am in. Other block, I am in. This is a secret, powerful strategy. You know, I wouldn't would like to reveal it yet, but I just want to give it that for you guys to start making money. You know, that of seeing most of you guys, you know, struggling with with your front uh, for with your evaluation channel. So, uh, just make sure you smash the like button, subscription button. As you look, I've never showed you guys how time frame how to use this not that how time frame. You can see other block making this kind of close other block zoom entry. Other block entry, other block entry, you know, other block. So every day, you can you imagine the strategy that is working every day? You can't, you can't do such strategy, you know. Every day you are seeing it working day by day, day by day. I will, I will be surprised to see this video hit five hundred thousand likes, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, uh, I'm just joking, but you guys should smash the thumbs up, you know, or that block entry. This one is too big, so you gotta ignore this one, all right? But definitely there was a chase. Oh, there was even a, a, a reprising, okay? A reprising means a chase in a part of this other block price to swing off on that point, you know, other block near case of entry, other block not on case of entry, other block not on case of entry. How can you? It's like every day. Can you imagine every day? I'll show you something every day, you know? Every day. You can see that other block entry. Other block entry, you know. Entry means execute your trade, man. What are you waiting for? What the fuck are you waiting for? Let's look at higher time for let's see what we can see on higher time for, you know. Okay, on higher time for let's look at higher time for right. Okay, same thing basically, but those that higher time for don't work with easy one, right? So a other block, you know, a, a price entry. Other block, a price entry. Other block. This other block was formed because of this candle. So this is the reprise. It's the price with the chase entry, you know. Other block. Flying, flying, flying. Other block. How, how, how beautiful is this, guys? How beautiful. You know, one thing I need from you guys, I need your support. And let's grow this channel to 100,000 subscribers. You know, I told you guys, after 1,000 subscribers, I aim like 100,000 subscribers, you know. And with your support, I'll be able to get it as soon as, soon as they lose. And with your support, we're going to get it as fast and as soon as possible, you know. Very, more, very, very fast. We're going to get to 100,000 subscribers on this channel. So I want this community to grow, you know. That's my aim, guys. So I'll be giving you guys a lot of things, a lot of things. From, from now on, I'll be creating more content on funding accounts, you know, uh, evaluation accounts, you know. I will show you guys uh, the next video I'm going to, I will be creating is a, is a video on how to recover your drawdown, guys. The drawdown that is partnering with drawdown, you know, these days now, prof firm now don't have any limit again, so it's unlimited. So I will, I will be creating content on, on that, you know, and then just expect. Uh, but my next video is going to be on optimal trade entry, so yeah, I'll see you guys in that video, you know. See you guys.